In April of 1993, I brought my longtime friend Lawrence Ferlinghetti to Louisville to present a, a reading, a poetry reading at the university, and to visit Thomas Merton's grave at the Abbey of Gethsemane, an hour south of Louisville. Brother Patrick Hart, Merton's last secretary, gave us the grand tour. On the ride back, Lawrence said, why don't you bring the Dalai Lama? And then he told me a story of Merton's last night in the United States of America, which he spent with him at City Lights, 261 Columbus Avenue, North Beach, San Francisco, before Merton headed on to Asia, where he had three talks with the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama has talked many times about how those talks changed his life, inspiring him to become ecumenical, embracing people of all faiths around the world. So I worked for a year, and with the help of folks, the Dalai Lama magically made a trip, made his way to Louisville, Kentucky, and I had the opportunity to ask him one question. I told him about the 48-hour nonstop music and poetry insomniacathon I was producing a month later for New York University and over 300 young people would be performing and I asked him, I said, will you please share with me a message I can share with young people of all ages? And he smiled real big and closed his eyes. He smiled like only the Dalai Lama can smile. And he gave me a long message which has been recorded, was recorded. Our conversation was recorded. But the strange thing is all I heard through some kind of spiritual transmission were the words to this poem, never give up. Just for your friends, but for everyone, be compassionate. 